Hi, I'm LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time here and you want to be inspired on a daily basis, then this is the perfect place for you. Start now by subscribing and clicking the bell. Hello, hello. My name is LaShawn and welcome to my YouTube channel. This is a very simple lifestyle vlog where I get here every morning and I try to uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. Let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am the divorced mother of three adult children. I have two boys and a girl. I am a United States Navy veteran. I'm also a surgical tech. I am disabled and I work full time here now from my home. I am a hustler. That's right, I'm a hustler. I get up every day and I work. I do something for my YouTube channel every single day and I love what I do. I love to help people, uplift people, encourage people and talk about the love of the Lord. That's right. So this is my new intro. So here I am, <laughs> and if you like what you see, click like, share, comment, and come back here on a daily basis. So, here's today's video. Hey YouTube, everything that I wish for, everything that I long for, I have, and it's because of God. I feel so full, I feel so blessed, and I have so much gratitude because I have held on to my faith and I knew that things were gonna fall into place. It may not come when you think you need it, but it'll always come when you have to have it, okay? So at this present time, I'm happy and joyful because I have food to eat, I have a roof over my head, all three of my children are okay and they are wrapped in God's arms. He takes care of my children. He makes sure that I don't feel any anxiety and that I don't have any worry in my heart for my children. I wake up every morning and I feel blessed. I don't feel any sense of doom. I have an enormous amount of peace when I wake up. So that's what I mean when I say everything is falling into place. Everything is beautiful. Everything is good. And my financial situation hasn't changed. I'm still making the same amount of money I made yesterday, a week ago. But the world doesn't revolve just on money. And I try to tell people that all the time. They always say, if I won the lottery, my life would change. Of course your life would change. More money, more problems. I believe that your life will change. And if you put the work in, it'll change for the better. But ultimately, if you have things that are hurting you, and things that are traumatic in your life, those same things will be in place when you win the lottery. So fix those things, address those things, and conquer those things, and then your life will be better. So that's why I feel like my life is better. I'm no longer depressed. I don't have all that anxiety and worry, and all that is gone. This little apartment that I got, I tell you guys, every single chance I get, I have 660 square feet. That's it. This is a one-bedroom efficiency apartment. It's this, this small, but I have everything I need right here. And I wake up every morning, I'm happy, I'm smiling. I may be in pain. I have to sit there for a minute, but I get it together. And I have to say that I'm happy and I'm joyful. And you know what? That is the peace that I tell y'all about all the time. You hear people talking all the time. And they say, you know what? I just want perfect peace. But you know what? I found it. I have the joy of the Lord in my heart. So I wake up every single morning happy. No matter what my circumstance is. I wake up with the joy of the Lord in my heart. And I know that the day is going to be okay. Now, you know. You may get some bad news or your car might break down or, you know, this type of another bill come up that you didn't expect. This is just what life is. Life is unexpected uh, incidents that happen and you have to conquer them on any given day. That's never going to change. Every day is going to be a new hurdle. Every day is going to be a new challenge. So you have to get your mind right. So you wake up with a positive attitude. And you equip yourself 
with the energy and the positivity that you need to get through that day. That's what I do. And so when I encounter something that's negative or I encounter something that knocks me down, I sit there for a minute and say, whew, I got to get up. I got to do it. I got to face it. I got to fix it. And then I get up and conquer whatever knocked me down so that I can move forward. And that's what I want to tell you. Do more in 2024. Change your whole mindset. A lot of people will tell you, I did one, I did two, I did three, four, eight things in 2023. I'm proud of all the things I achieved and I want to do this many things in 2024. That's a lot of people do resolutions. They write it down. They say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm simply going to say, I'm going to do more in 2024. If you live in your life right and you're doing everything that you should be doing and you are being kind to mankind, you are being positive, you leave your print on the world the best way you know how, you loving your family, you honoring God, those are good things. Take that into 2024. So I'm just going to do more in 2024. I would like to expand my mentorship because back in the day, I did lots and lots more than I do now. Right now, I'm down to one day a week that I'm doing my mentorship for military wives. And I try to be as productive as I can on that one day. I try to talk to as many women as I can on that one day. And it takes a lot because I have to get back to them the very next day. So really, what's one day turns into two days. And that's a lot right now for me, but I hope and I pray. My prayer is that I can do more for military wives this year in 2024, because our military is very important to me. I'm a United States Navy disabled veteran, and I used to be a military wife as well. So I know the hardships. I know the challenges of when you get married and you're away from home, you're away from family, you may have small children, financial issues. So what I try to do is I try to reach as many young military wives as I can and try to school them on some of the things they could do and teach them how to have side hustles. That's right. I teach them how to do side hustles in order to help their families. Because a lot of stay-at-home moms, the whole look of stay-at-home mom has changed. Okay, back in the day, a stay-at-home mom stayed at home and took care of the kids. Now you have stay-at-home moms who also are entrepreneurs, businesswomen, those type of things. So the whole outlook is different. So a military wife has a lot of hats that she wears. So my goal is to touch as many people as I can. And right now... Military wives is what I'm focused on one day a week, but it turns into two because it's a two day event. I take in all I get all the receptions and go through all the people that want to talk to me. I schedule them for the next day and then I talk to them directly one on one with Zoom. And that is a blessing in itself that my old laptop is still kicking. OK, my laptop is still kicking. That's why I say don't complain and just be happy and joyful in everything that you do because it's a lot of things that could go wrong that's not, okay? So be happy and joyful. Now, what are you doing differently for 2024? Whether it's weight loss or what you're eating, what you're thinking, uh, what you're doing with your time, I'm going to do the same things that I've been doing. I'm just going to try to do more. I'm also going to try to do more Sudoku puzzles, okay? <laughs> Love me some Sudoku puzzles. But I, I do them every single day. That's a, a disclaimer I want to tell you for all the new people here. I do a Sudoku puzzle every single day. I have to keep this mind going, okay? So I do Sudoku every single day. And so I like Sudoku. A lot of people don't. Some people say it's too hard. Some people say it's not challenging enough. I love it. When I first started doing Sudoku, I could not, I could, I would get the wrong answers and everything. So I started using a pencil, but it's no fun with a pencil. So anyway, to make a long story short, let's focus on the title of this video, which is 
do more in 2024. So I encourage you to be better than you were yesterday. And if you're better than you were on yesterday, then you'll be better than you were in 2023. 2024 is an opportunity for you to say, you know what? I didn't do this and I didn't do that. But starting today, I want to do this. And, you know, that could be anything from give your life to Christ to starting a walking regimen, a running regimen, uh, cutting the fat in your food. I don't know. Cutting out sugar. Ooh. All those other things. Look, I have cut out a lot in my life. I eat a certain amount of things, but I don't deprive myself of the things that I like. I just do it in moderation. That works for me. So my disclaimer is, if I cut out all the sugar, if I didn't drink any soda pop at all, then I would crave it, which I have before. And I just take a little sip. I'm good or whatever. But you do what works for you. And I always say that. It'll always be somebody saying, you should do this. You should do that. Because they think they know you or they think they can live your life better than what you do. I don't know. Do what works for you and your family you individually, spiritually, mind, body, and soul. What are you trying to do in 2024 to make your life better, to make your family's life better so that you can increase your financial outlook so you can increase the love that you give your children? Remember, it's quality over quantity because you want your children to remember all the good things. You want them to remember you and not things. Okay, so that's it. Do more in 2024. And if you haven't already, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. But more than that, you have to click that bell so you're notified every single time I come out with a new video. But I wanted to say thank you. Thank you to all my subscribers. I also want to say thank you to all my channel members. It's because of you and sharing my videos and leaving these beautiful comments and liking that is helping the algorithm and is pushing my videos out there so more people can see them. That's the secret to YouTube. The secret to YouTube is to get people to see your video, okay? And if you like my video, if you share my video, if you leave comments, then YouTube say, hey, that, that old lady, LaShawn, she pretty cool. Let's show some more people her video. That's basically how it works. So I want to do more of that in 2024 so that my videos will get out and spread to more people. Because the more people that watch my videos, there's a chance that it will uplift, encourage, and inspire as many people as I possibly can. That's what I want to do. I want to uplift, encourage, and inspire people. I want to show people that even if you have a disability, and you have limitations on your mobility, you still can be productive. You can still do wonderful things and you still can achieve a lot of things on your own. So that's what I like to do here. That's why I say get up, get moving, and be a part of living. I say that because if you stay stagnant and in place too long, you'll never achieve all the goals that you have in your heart. You'll never achieve all the goals that God has in store for you. And you'll never see them unless you try, okay? So at this time, we're going to breathe in and breathe out to get our day started. You don't have to, but I do it because it makes me feel good. You ready? Breathe in, breathe out. We thank you, Father. We are so grateful for this day, Father. So, whatever you have planned today, to work, to school, or maybe you got to go grocery shopping, be happy, be joyful, and put a smile on your face. And treat people with dignity and respect. It's the only way to live. What you give out is what you'll get back in. Okay? So, have a good day. Have a blessed day. And remember, God loves you. And so do I. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Thank you guys for watching today. Hope you enjoyed today's video. 
Take a minute to leave a comment. I look forward to talking to you soon. Bye.